welcome graduates, family members, friends, family, staff, administrators, managers, alumni, future alumni, and welcome to our local and to our global community members. Welcome to this very momentous occasion, the 90th commencement exercise of Santa Monica College. This is a very special day for SMC, which was founded in 1929, but especially for you, the graduating class of SMC for the year 2020. You are SMC's first class to experience the commencement ceremony using remote technology. Yes, you will be the first to have a virtual commencement ceremony. In fact, you may be the only graduating class to have this experience. So no matter whether you're the first or if there's another graduating class that follows you using virtual technology, you will always have a very, very special place in the, in the history of SMC graduations. Although we are not able to celebrate in Corsair Stadium, as we would have been uh, doing prior to um, the outbreak of coronavirus, through the use of technology, we are able to be together, and in a way, we are face to face. Graduation is the one annual event everyone at Santa Monica College anticipates with great enthusiasm because we know this event represents a beginning and a point of transition to a new path where your academic and career journey will continue. This particular graduation ceremony reminds us that you, our graduates, represent the opportunity that lies ahead. You give us hope for the world. You, capital Y, capital O, capital U, the graduating class of 2020. On this historic occasion, I pay tribute to you. Regardless of where you may have been when you first came to SMC, I know you are no longer the same person. Maybe you were not entirely sure of what direction you would like to take in your life, where your journey for SMC might lead. But the fact is that you were compelled to walk through SMC's doors and through the range of interactions you have had with instructors, counselors, members of our staff, you now hold your head higher, know yourself better, and you are emerging as a stronger, more knowledgeable, and more confident you. Be proud, be very proud of what you have accomplished. Be even prouder that you graduated from Santa Monica College, the best community college in the nation. All over the globe, a complicated state of affairs prevails. This situation will require the resilience and courage you have already demonstrated as a student uh, to lead you forward in navigating a very rapidly changing world. But graduates, remember this. You have conquered whatever life has put in your way. And today, you graduate from Santa Monica College. Wherever you go from here, I encourage you to remember how you feel today. This very significant moment in time represents the power you have to turn a dream into a tangible reality of fulfilling academic rigor. The power to earn a college degree, which is a very strong and powerful, a mighty ticket to your future. I have unshakable confidence that you have what it takes to shape the world for the better. And as you go forward, please stay in touch with us. I love hearing from students. Recently, I received a message from a former 
are from two former students who have transferred and graduated from different institutions. One graduated from Spelman College one year after transferring from SMC. She completed a major in economics, a phenomenal accomplishment to complete in four years when you start off um, as a freshman. And it is an even more phenomenal accomplishment to complete after transferring uh, to complete that degree in one year. She's from a small Caribbean island where the population depends heavily on tourism. In her letter, she wanted to stress, um, in the letter that she wrote to me, she wanted to stress the impact that SMC had made on her life. I could see that student's face in my mind's eye as I read about her success in the letter that she wrote and as I learned about her future plans. I was deeply touched that she felt so connected to SMC and took a moment to reach out to me just to say hello and to let me know how she was doing. I am still deeply touched by her comments as I am deeply touched by each of you and look forward to celebrating your next big steps. Another student wrote uh, to her former counselor and acknowledged, I'm happy to say I recently graduated from UCSD, University of California, San Diego, with highest honors and will be starting the PhD program at Yale University's School of Environment next fall. It's hard to believe just two years ago, I was so stressed about not getting into what I felt was my preferred college. Everything has worked out in ways that I could not have imagined back then. I enjoyed my time at UCSD so much, but not as much as I enjoyed my time at Santa Monica College. I learned a lot through that transition process. Recently, while participating in a Zoom meeting online, a speaker said, quick adaptation does not give you time to be intentional. The process of acquiring higher education is not a quick undertaking. It is indeed an intentional day-by-day -day sequence of deliberate actions. Graduates, you have with focus and dedication planned your steps with care motivation and purpose. And today, you reap the reward for being so amazingly courageous. Now let's take a look back at Santa Monica College's 90 years of excellence.
It was New Year's Day, 2020. Like many people, I was enjoying hanging out with friends, watching football, and looking towards the new year. A friend asked me about SMC, and I shared with her that I had been elected chair of the Board of Trustees for 2020, and that the board's priorities would include ensuring that all students succeed, regardless of the challenges. I told her the best part about being a trustee is witnessing the impact SMC has on the lives of students. Graduation is always a special time. I love seeing the graduates, their friends and family. It's a thrill to hand out diplomas and celebrate their achievements. Typically, I would be standing here in my regalia, getting ready to shake hundreds of hands and discreetly hiding the antibacterial hand sanitizer to be used periodically between handshakes. Fast forward, COVID-19. Now I stand here pretty much alone, not wearing the traditional cap and gown, hand sanitizer in full view, even though there are no hands to shake. I also just happen to have a matching mask that I wore on my way to speak to you in this virtual world. I am sorry that you were not able to continue attending classes on campus that you were not able to experience the self-affirming, life-changing interactions with faculty and staff and friends that make Santa Monica College such a special place. It certainly hasn't been easy for you. Classes were online, your environment may have not been the most ideal for studying, and COVID-19 very likely complicated and upturned your life. Among us are students who lost loved ones, whose family members became ill, who lost jobs and sources of income. You have persevered through one of the most challenging times in recent history and have successfully completed the requirements for a degree or certificate. I want to acknowledge and thank the SMC faculty and staff, your family and friends who were part of this journey. But most of all graduates, I acknowledge and celebrate you. While it isn't taking place in the way we would have wished, this commencement ceremony remains a celebration of all you have achieved. As defined in the dictionary, commencement means the act or celebration of beginning. You are beginning a new chapter, whether transferring, starting a new career, taking on an assignment, or taking a moment of pause to consider the possibilities that lie ahead. Typically, in a graduation speech, we talk about the future using many superlatives. However, as I thought about what I would say, I saw many question marks. When will there be a vaccine? Will I be able to find a job? Will the economic recovery take me with it, or will it leave my family and friends behind? When will it be safe for hugs? While the future may feel unsettling, it is full of opportunity. The world has changed. What works and what no longer works has been laid bare all over the world. In a 2015 graduation address, President Barack Obama said, the major threats we face in the 21st century, whether it's global recession or violent extremism, the spread of nuclear war or pandemic disease, these things do not discriminate. They do not recognize borders. They do not see color. They do not target specific ethnic groups. Moreover, no one person or religion or nation can meet these challenges alone. Our very survival has never re required greater co cooperation and greater understanding among all people from all places than at this moment in time. Here we are five years after his speech, living the pandemic, knowing that with more understanding and cooperation, lives and livelihoods could have been saved. We see demonstrated daily how inequitable our world is. I can wash my hands multiple times daily with soap and water, while in other countries people line up for a few buckets of clean water weekly. Many of us face the inconvenience of maybe not being able to find what we want at the grocery store. However, others do not even have the means to buy food. They wonder how the rent will be paid. The pandemic has sharply deepened existing inequities. The world has turned upside down and now it is time to set it right. When you go through dark, dark times, it is more important than ever to hold on to hope, to hold on to your dreams, 
and it is only in dark times that we find out what we're made of. Let me tell you something that I hope you already know. You have what it takes to change the world. Nature and life teach us that the most beautiful, brave things come out of the dark, out of turmoil. Don't lose hope. Don't give up. Use the lessons you've learned at SMC to change the world in whatever way you are led to do that. It could be helping a neighbor. It could be finding a cure for a disease or running for elected office and making laws that will create a more just, equitable world. Whatever it is that you will set out to do, no one else but you can fulfill that destiny. So class of 2020, congratulations. Thank you for showing it what it means to have courage, what it means to persist in difficult times. Keep your fire burning, take care of yourself, and change the world one step at a time, your way. Now I would like to introduce Nate Donahue, President of the Academic Senate. To the graduating students of the class of 2020, to your family, to your loved ones and friends, you are positively amazing. You have completed your goals under the absolutely most difficult of circumstances, and we are in awe of your achievement. The courage, fortitude, heart, and resolve that you have all demonstrated by completing your degree or certificate amidst a pandemic is heroic. There has never been a stronger class than the class of 2020, and our respect for your resilience is boundless. From talking with my own students, I know that many of you have had to become the teachers, taking the lead in educating and caring for younger siblings at home. You have taken on extra jobs on the front lines, stocking and delivering groceries to supplement household income after a parent has lost a job. Some of you have cared for or lost loved ones, or may have battled the virus yourselves. You have done all of this while sharing bandwidth, zooming to class, and succeeded in an unfamiliar learning environment that we found ourselves in out of necessity. And yet, you have overcome all of these obstacles on the path to obtaining your degree. No matter what generation you hail from, Z, X, the millennials or boomers, you are collectively the strongest generation of students that we, your faculty, have ever had the privilege of teaching. I stand before you in humble respect. Each year, it is my job as Academic Senate President to issue you one final challenge as you graduate. However, this year, I feel almost remiss further challenging a class who has already demonstrated and risen with such grace to this moment. Thus, knowing you have already done so much to support your families and loved ones, I challenge you to be kind and care for yourselves. And indeed, holistic self-care at this juncture of history has never been more important. Please honor the sacrifices you have made and give yourself the time, space, and permission to feel and understand your emotions. Be hopeful for the future and keep planning. Nourish and continue the intellectual passions and goals you have developed here with us at SMC. This pandemic will end and you will be wise and ready to lead a new society that will be based on equity, social justice, and the collective health of all of our communities. We are so proud of you. We love you, and we will always be here for you. Congratulations to you, the class of 2020. You have succeeded in the most difficult of circumstances. Care for yourselves and always remember your strength. Now Dr. Jeffrey will be returning to the stage.
Today, I have the privilege of announcing the winners of three distinctive scholarships. These recipients would generally be recognized along with all scholarship winners during our annual scholarship ceremony organized by the Santa Monica College Foundation. This year, the college and its foundation would like to acknowledge and celebrate the winners of these three major scholarships during this virtual commencement ceremony. Without further ado, here are the scholarship recipients. The Sang Transfer Scholarship, which is a $30,000 award given over a two-year period to an SMC student who is ready to transfer in the fall of 2020, goes to Ruben Garcia. Ruben came to SMC from Venice High School and has wanted to be a physician since the third grade. He is a first-generation college student and wrote in his application that his experience at SMC was, and I quote, an epiphany. He went from having a 2.4 GPA to being on the Dean's Honor Roll in his very first semester. In spite of great economic challenges, Ruben is already demonstrating what it means to lift others up he volunteers at a local nonprofit family clinic. He is vice president of SMC's Spanish Club. He is a member of the president's ambassadors, and he truly makes us proud to be SMC. Congratulations, Ruben. And now for the winner of the President's Circle Award for Academic Leadership and Excellence, a $5,000 scholarship goes to SMC STEM student, Salome Gebermedahin. Salome lost a beloved relative to cancer and wants to be an oncologist and be involved in cancer research. Like Ruben, she struggled with low grades in high school and she has worked a, a minimum wage job to make ends meet. In spite of many barriers, Salome has grown into a leader, even co-founding the Women in STEM student club. Uh, and just in case some members of our audience uh, don't know the acronym STEM, that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So congratulations, Selame. And finally, the winner of the $3,000 scholarship award for the President's Circle uh, for Academic Leadership and Excellence political science major, Melanie Morantes. In August 2017, Melanie says she bought a golden ticket. It was a Greyhound bus ticket from El Paso, Texas to Los Angeles. Melanie was accepted into UC Berkeley straight out of high school, but couldn't follow through because of the steep financial cost. Uh, she did not, however, allow that to set her back and she came to SMC where she has flourished in spite of having to juggle working two jobs during her first year and a half at the college. She is external vice president for Alpha Gamma Sigma, a student trustee for the Southern California AGS, among other leadership roles. She has also advocated for and helped her peers who are homeless, and who are housing insecure. So congratulations to Melanie Morentes. These three students represent hundreds, thousands of SMC students with their love of humanity, their courage and persistence, and the promise that lies within each of them to change the world. We are so very proud to recognize each of them. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce Daniel Cha, Associated Students President, to speak on behalf of the SMC Student Government. Hello, my fellow peers. I am Daniel, your Student Body President. I would first like to congratulate the Class of 2020 on your impeccable achievement. I would like to thank the family, 
friends, and loved ones for attending. Without you and your love and your sacrifices, this would not be possible. You all are at a stage in life where you have your entire life ahead of you. You just attended the top community college in the nation. Give you guys yourself a pat on the back. You guys have the world and so many opportunities laid out in front of you. You may not know what your dream is. You may not know what you want to accomplish, and that's okay. When you do figure it out, stay devoted, as it will not always be a straight path and never lose sight of what they are. You can come out on the other side better than you went in and remember what you want to accomplish. Do not ever be hesitant to ask for help along the way and don't be afraid to uplift others on their journey. There will be rainy days. You will face tough obstacles. There is still a whole lot left for you to learn. Keep striving to become the best person you can be. Today, you are accomplishing a milestone that will always be something to be remembered. Tomorrow, you'll embark on a new journey with new dreams, new goals, and new things you'll want to accomplish. As you go on the journey towards your new dreams, remember to uplift people along the way. Remember to change the world for the better as we go. This is a remarkable place that we live in. It's a wonderful time to be alive. If we each try and help each other out, if we aren't afraid to ask, we can do unbelievable things. Together, we can change the world one person at a time. Congratulations and thank you, class of 2020. Now, I would like to introduce our commencement speaker, Sandra Evers Manley. Good day, everyone. I'm truly honored to be with you for this great celebration for the class of 2020 of the great institution, Santa Monica College. To President Catherine Jeffrey, to the distinguished faculty, staff of this great institution, to the board of trustees, to the parents, to the guardians, to the spouses, children, other family members and friends, I am honored to join with you in celebrating the mighty and resilient class of 2020. You know, I was thinking about why inviting me, Sandra Evers Manley, to be your commencement speaker. I was worried, what could I say to this a mighty talented group of individuals? You know, I began my career 38 years ago at a company then called Northrop now called Northrop Grumman. I still remember I had 37 cents in my pocket. The question was how would I get to my summer internship inter interview? I reached out to a friend. That friend and I drove to Century City from South LA. When we got there, parking was $10. We had just raised $3 to get to the interview. So I wanna say to you, as you began this new journey, Think about your network. Think about those individuals who surround you, individuals who you can call on, individuals who have your back. No matter where you go, I want you to think about the African proverb that says, if you wanna go fast, you go by yourself. But if you wanna go far, you go together. I wanna encourage you as we look out and what's happening in this world. We first had COVID-19. We now see the social injustices that exist in our society. We need gifted talent that has now come out of SMC to help solve problems, to help give back into the community, to go into corporate America and be great innovators, to be entrepreneurs, but most of all, to be doers and givers. I encourage you class of 2020 to use this time to reflect on the wonderful time you've had at Santa Monica College. 
I truly want you to say, proud to be SMC. Not only are you on one of the most beautiful campuses here in California and across this nation, but you have interacted some with some gifted and talented faculty and staff. This great community college has been so good to so many. The one thing I'm also proud of is that you have prepared a number of my colleagues, many of them who are now engineers, computer scientists, and business professionals. For that, I say thank you. I also want you to think about what will be your purpose beyond being a great leader, beyond being a great business person, or for those who are going off to a four-year institution, being a continuing to be a great student. What will be your purpose? What will be that one thing you will be remembered for? What's happening in the world today? We need more kindness. We need individuals to give more. And most of all, we need individuals to even love more. I also want you to think about being responsible. Never let anyone take away from you being responsible and for your high ethics and integrity. You know, I've now been in corporate America 38 years, and I've had an incredible corporate life, starting off as an intern, now serving as vice president of corporate responsibility and president of the Northrop Grumman Foundation. The one thing that I know for sure is that having a great life allows you to help others. We need you to be a voice, be the difference. We need you to be change agents. We also need you to be change makers. In corporate America, I've been very fulfilled, but I needed more. And so 25 years ago, I started an organization called the Black Hollywood Education and Resource Center. I started that organization because I was not satisfied with the images that I saw of African Americans and other people of color. I wanted to see more diversity. I wanted to see us the full spectrum of African Americans on film and television. And my mother said, if you all see a problem, you must be about the change. And so with this organization, we've just celebrated our 25th year. We've provided scholarships to students. Our first filmmaker was a woman named Gina Prince Bythewood, who went on to do such films as Love and Basketball. More than four years ago, there was another young man who came to our program and needed scholarships. His name was Ryan Coogler, and he went on to do Panther. What I will tell you is that if you see something wrong, you've gotta be a part of the solution. Within the Black Hollywood Education and Resource Center, one of the things I am most proud of is that we've been able to touch more than 30,000 individuals almost yearly through our various programs. I also wanna say thank you for your resilience. I know some of us are down that we don't have our normal graduation, but I want you to stay up because the one thing you will be able to teach the next generation is that tough times don't last, but tough people do. So I wanna to say to the class of 2020, this is your time. This is your time to make a difference. This is your time to chart out a new course. This is your time to work your plan and plan your work. When you go out and make money, give back to this institution so that it can create more individuals that look like you. Stay strong, stay safe, and understand that together we are better. Understand that we need you. We need innovators. We need great writers. We need individuals who are going to lead, individuals who are going to challenge the status quo. Go out, follow your dreams, believe and always know not just who you are, but whose you are. Class of 2020, SMC proud. Continue to set a course and continue to do great. Congratulations, job well done, and let's celebrate. Thank you so very much.
Thank you, Mrs. Evers Manley, for your thoughtful comments. Your words will long stay and resonate with our graduates, of that I'm sure. Graduates, we are all so proud of you. This moment is about you and about your accomplishments. You were asked to upload a short video or photos, or you had the opportunity to upload short videos and photos to be used for a graduation tribute video that could be downloaded and then shared on social media. We don't have the opportunity right now, the time right now to show them all, but here are a few highlights of the celebration videos that you submitted. Please view the full list of graduate um, videos for others in the audience and for the graduates themselves. Please take the time to view these videos. They're very heartwarming. Some are funny, and I think you'll enjoy them a lot. Congratulations, class of 2020. Love you, mom. Yeah, we'll admit it, yeah. but we learned a lot and we pushed it to the limit. Wouldn't have it any other way, no different. Congratulations, class of 2020. Regardless of everything, we made it. Hello, this is Nihal. Thank you, Professor Alicia Mumba, for everything. I'm going to miss you, miss all my class, miss my old friends. And thank you for all the information we have learned from you. Thank you. We thought anything good would happen in 2020, but thankfully we graduated. Woo! Go class of 2020! Woo! Yeah, we did it. Made a couple mistakes. Yeah, we'll admit it. But we learned a lot and we pushed it to the limit. Wouldn't have it any other way. No different. I want to thank my family and my boyfriend for supporting me throughout my college journey. But I also want to thank all the counselors who provided me guidance with their immense wisdom. Thank you very much. I am very grateful and honored to be celebrating this beautiful achievement. I thank my family for the love and support. Graduates, please rise. And family members or someone who's nearby, uh, please grab a camera to capture a photo or make a video of this moment. We're going to do the official graduation ritual where you pass your tassel from the right to the left, but I will direct you when it's time to do so. Upon recommendation of the faculty and with the authority vested in me by the California Community College's Board of Governors and the Board of Trustees of Santa Monica College, I hereby confer upon you the bachelor's degree, the associate degree, the certificate of achievement, or the certificate of completion. You may now take your tassel from the right and move it to the left. And with that motion, you are officially, ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of Santa Monica College for 2020. As you celebrate wherever you are, please continue to be safe. Please continue to take care of yourself and those you care about. We wish you much success as you move forward. 
Yeah, we did it. Made a couple mistakes, yeah, we'll admit it. Yeah. But we learned a lot and we pushed it to the limit. Ooh. Wouldn't have it any other way, no different. <laughs> did it, yeah, we did it. Made a couple mistakes, yeah, we'll admit it. Yeah. But we learned a lot and we pushed it to the limit. Ooh. Wouldn't have it any other way, no different. <laughs> Proud to be. Proud to be. Proud to be. SMC. Did it? Yeah, we did it. Made a couple mistakes. Yeah, we'll admit it. But we learned a lot and we pushed it to the limit. 